episode starts. What's going on guys? Thank you for watching another video and in this video we're going to be taking care of the car. Uh, so if you had seen last update we took a trip to Illinois. Weather was really really bad. Coming back snow everywhere. It was just a tedious drive driving a rear wheel drive car with no snow tires. We made it back so uh, I was happy about that. It was just some parts were just sketchy the way the car drove with the snow on the road. Today I'm gonna take her go get a car wash because of all the snow underneath the car. I'll get a pretty good detail on the outside and probably on the inside as well. After that I'll go grab liquid molly fuel injector cleaner. I usually use that every 3,000 miles but I didn't get to because we were on the trip so this is where I'm sitting right now. 3,600 miles. So pretty much 600 miles overdue when I usually uh, pour that into the, uh, the fuel uh, tank. But this is it. That's what I usually use going to trips or after trips or when I'm at 3,000 miles I just use that. But let me go get a car wash real quick and then uh, I'll keep you updated. Alright, we're here. This place is called Euro Auto Select. I found this place. It's pretty cool. They sell all like liquid molly products. So rather than ordering online, I can just come here and buy my liquid molly products from them. <laughs> Looks like it's closed, but I doubt it. Ooh, look at that seal. Um, let me just park right here real quick. And we can go in. I hope they're open. Yeah, this the CL is debatched. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, we got the stuff. Let me show you real quick what I use. So it's called a gasoline system cleaner, liquid molly. I think it's cheaper when you order it online, but maybe on Amazon it might be a little expensive. I'm not sure. I haven't looked on Amazon since. I looked on eBay. Uh, prices are not too bad, but this right here is $17. The last time I came in was $15, so I guess the price varies from time to time just because uh, liquid mollies are really, really good for hand. I'm going to use this stuff on my way uh, later today to to work. Currently at 44 miles for range. I, I usually like to get it pretty low and pour this into the gas the gas tank when like you're super low on fuel before filling up so it, it runs in the system like pretty well. Uh, yeah, that's the only thing I would advise using this when your gas tank is pretty low. Um, I wouldn't use it when the gas tank is full. But you guys should check it out. It's pretty good stuff if you guys want to, you know, use it on your your bends. There's the little car wash over there. This is my first time ever coming here. So I hope it's a uh, I hope it's a good. Ooh, this is a tight turn. Okay, I made it. <laughs> that was the tightest turn ever. I think I'm gonna do a uh, like a full like. I think probably no, not the highs. The highs is thirty bucks. Jeez. At least I want to get one where you know it cleans underneath the car because of all the salt. I don't want any salt like left because this car has lived in the south its whole life. So there's zero rust on it. Uh, let's see what they have. All right, guys, we chose the right one. I just asked him uh, if the $15, $15 car wash is gonna wash underneath the car. He said, yeah. I haven't been in, in one of these in a while. good in here. <laughs> a 
Okay, I'm gonna vacuum real quick. But I was saying, fifteen dollars. That's like a waste of money because, like, to me, I wash my car my own self. But I'm doing this just because, you know, we went out of town and uh, and I won't be able to actually get the salt off of the car. That's why I came through a car wash. Check out this Beamer. Not bad. Okay, I'm gonna vacuum real quick. Hopefully these vacuums are actually working properly. Guys, that was not worth it. 15 bucks? You wanna see how the car looks after it's been washed? Yeah, so that that's 15 bucks right there for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not coming here ever again. I just made it back, so I forgot. You guys that watch my videos, you know how uh, clean my engine bay usually is. Well, check it out. It's dirty. I'm definitely gonna detail it back up again. If you guys wanna know how I detail my engine bay, I think I'm probably gonna make a video of uh, the products I use and um, just in general how I clean it. But look at it now after the trip. Yeah. <laughs> you got all splattered water, salt from the road. Yeah, everything is pretty much dirty. But yeah, I'm gonna be making a video on that. Um, it's, it's not hard to clean your engine bay, especially when it's not super dirty. I mean, if, if it is really dirty, you know, you can get it cleaned pretty well with the products I use. Don't tell anyone what products I use though, it's a secret. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing probably for the next video. And also, Dino Tuning is next week. So I hope you guys are excited about that. I'm super excited about that. Can't wait. Uh, so yeah, there's gonna be two more videos coming out. So me uh, detailing my engine bay and Dino Tuning and I don't know what else I am uh, waiting to change my transmission fluid once the weather gets warm currently at 146,000 miles I will once I get to 150 I'm gonna change it even if I don't get to 150 before the weather gets warm I'm still gonna change it just because you know 150 is where I'm due at uh, every 30,000 miles change your transmission fluid in, on these cars especially um, but yeah that's that's the update so um, yeah stay tuned for those two videos that will be coming out later this week and uh, yeah um, I'll see you in the next video oh also I forgot put in the comments if you guys actually use this product I don't know if I talked about it much or gave you enough details on using this product, but this is good stuff. Look at Molly, use it every 3,000 miles. Just pour it into the gas tank when you're on your next fill up. This does really, really good stuff. I don't wanna to get too much into details. You guys can do some research on it. It basically cleans out the whole fuel system and it's also really good for your catalytic converters. I read it when I did some research, I can't remember full details on what exactly it does with the cats. But yeah, it's pretty good stuff, so you guys definitely check them out.